There we go. Hello. Ooh. Cancer. Knight of Cups. Doing Cancer right now, anyway. Uh, Knight of Cups. So somebody could be coming in with a love offer. This could be you. This is your energy. Or no, this is uh, Aquarius and Piscean energy. So it could be an Aquarius or a Pisces. doesn't have to be. Um, uh, this offer or somebody's giving you is like the beginnings of something that could be something big like uh, material-wise. Like uh, could lead to a lot of uh, wealth or material wealth. But just right now it's just a thought or an idea. As it, or it's just in the beginning stages of... Uh, Say like a McDonald's chain or something. The guy who thought of like the, that whole fucking really, really bad health choices. Or <laughs> whoever thought of that was like, they brought him a lot of wealth or a lot of like, you know what I mean? So, but this is like him just sitting in his, and maybe he was a homeless guy and he was hungry and he's like, oh, I wish I had a cheeseburger. And then he like came up with that idea or some shit like that, right? Cancer, Holy Spirit, would you link me into the soul cycle of cancer, please? Lord, Cancerians need to be aware of... Ooh, strength. This is masculine strength, so it might take a lot of masculine strength to get this idea off the ground. Like literal elbow grease. Um... Mm, what do we have in the heart of the situation for cat? Oh, these two fly over right away. Okay, so you're coming out of like a. Whew. You're coming out of a. So you ever. What's that from? I think it's from The Hobbit. That, uh, out of the frying pan into the fire or whatever type of shit. This is like getting a little break to. Uh, from the battle there. Whatever battle it is. And this is like. Uh, <laughs> this is the fire here. <laughs> this is the last judgment. This is uh, divine judgment. I don't know why I'm getting, I don't know, the energies I'm pulling on today, whoever's read this is, it might be in a period of transition, I'm getting a lot, you know, I did the Gemini reading, I think they're in a period of transition right now, so this could be your accomplice, possibly, and maybe you just pulled your ass out of this fire, but now you realize, oh shit, now I'm, I just jumped out of the frying pan, and I mean, now I'm, you're looking down and you're falling into the fire, so... You're going to be fried slowly. Now you're going to be, like, disintegrated, I'm taking it. This, is, this isn't the heart of the matter. This doesn't have to be you, too. This could be somebody you know. This could be past, present, or future. This could be, uh, it's somebody you know. Like, not all of it's going to resonate, but some of it will resonate. So, if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. As, um, Mama Wada always says. Um... I just like the way she says it. So I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I'm not trying to copy her or anything, but I don't know. I just like the way she says that. Uh, last judgment. Hmm. And this is six. So thirty six could mean something. Thirty six or sixty three. Uh, somebody could be sixty three or somebody could be thirty six. The person who this is happening to. Yeah, somebody's just getting a breath of fresh air just to realize that they're like, oh, it's finally over. And then they're like, oh, my God. And then they just see, like, uh, maybe they were in a boxing match and they just, uh, they went up a rank and it was the fight of their life. They Like, it, was, it wasn't the fight of their life, but it was like, uh, and, like, right when they're in, getting in the ring, they're like, oh, no, you got to fight this guy, too. And then there's Mike Tyson or something. So, <laughs> what do we got in uh, the... Challenge is this, uh, this predicament we have here. What's the challenge? Cancer. The cancer is seven of cups. So illusions. So your challenge is, is that you, you might be in illusions right now. So when you take a good look around and it's come up blocked. This is a passionate decision. or You're planning for the future is being blocked. Maybe something that you're planning for your future is being blocked by these illusions. Maybe you've been saving up money every, every month to like take care of your retirement or something like that and then all of a sudden something comes up and it's like oh I don't have to do that anymore but just be careful because this could be an illusion right this could be something that's not even real 
there can be an option, but like it, you may look like you have lots of options right now, but not all these options are viable. You know, some of them are like if I know some of them. This one shows withered uh, lotus or whatever, like withered flower things, and like they're they're ultimately going to lead to death and destruction. A lot of these options, so you best pick the right one, right? Don't give up on your plan. If you're you're planning for your future, and don't just give up on that right away, just because uh, you something like quick and easy came along, because that might not pan out. Sorry to burst your bubble there. What do we got in the uh, subconscious? What are you thinking of? Oh, <sighs> the hanged man. Okay, it was teetering, and I kind of pushed it along, but I just didn't want to fly anywhere, but. The hangman, subconsciously you're thinking of getting a different perspective, and I would, that's a good thing to be thinking. Think of, look it up from all angles before you make your decision. You could be dealing with a Pisces, or thinking about subconsciously a Pisces. What we got in the, um, the past? In the past we had, this is you, this is you rolling over your opposition here. In the past you, uh, went forward, you crushed your opponents, you, uh, had forward movement, you had control of your environment in the past. But this is the past, so let's not even think about that because things can change and let's see if they how they change. What do we got in the present here, Holy Spirit, for cancer? Ooh, eight of Cups. Presently you're walking away from what no longer serves you, so that crushing and rolling over your enemies in the past there no longer serves you. So you're very perceptive in seeing that, most likely because you were... You got this uh, different observation or different. Uh, you hung yourself upside down like Odin and cut your eye open. Waited three days to get uh, enlightenment or whatever. That's just one story. But uh, the Eight of Cups. Yeah. So you're walking along for you know that these no longer serve you. Even though it looked easy in the past and whatever, you're knowing you can't do that anymore because either you've gone too far, you can with it, or it's just not working anymore. And you know, the things don't always work forever, you know. Mm -hmm. Not the same way, anyway. Sometimes you have to tweak things a little bit. What do we got in the uh, future here for cancer? Ooh, the hermit. Okay, so now you're, in the future you're going to be going within, or you're going to be dealing with a hermit. Or some, a Virgo, possibly, or somebody that goes within, spends a lot of time alone, enjoys solitude, doesn't enjoy having a lot of fake friends around them, and drive them, drives them nuts, uh, and yeah, it brings out the worst in them. So I'm thinking, yeah, either you or this person in the future, you're going within to seek the answers of the universe, which are all within you. Or you're um, dealing with somebody like this in the future. Uh, we are influencing this. Oops. Ten of Cups. Okay, the most love in the deck. Okay, so you're influencing. You got a lot of love right now. Like a lot of love or something. And it actually showed up. You were. I think you were in Gemini's reading. <laughs> the one I'm, you, were, you had a lot of love there too. I don't know if you just found... Uh, the secret to life or something, your, uh, I don't know, your eyes have been opened somehow, maybe you, you found out some kind of love that you have, you have a whole lot of love for someone, something, or some place, or, yeah, you definitely have a whole lot of love right now, or the perfected success, this is like, you found the key to success here, so, uh, magic combination, uh, whatever, you've read the good book and you understood it and you, you whatever, now it, the keys to the universe are yours, right? What do we got in the, um, hopes and fears, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears are, oh, <laughs> saying, go, look, go watch Gemini's reading because you two are like intertwined somehow. <laughs> um, your fear... I'm going to say it's your fear. I'm thinking, is this Knight of Pentacles? Or maybe hopes is this so to, so to be like this? Or you could be fearing a Knight of Pentacles, something you slow but reliable and loyal. And, uh, yeah, he, he just he does things a certain way, which may he doesn't cut corners, and he just... He does things the way he was taught how to do it, or was basically is written on his heart to do. 
and you're fearing quick messages coming in from this person that might somehow fuck up your plans or something. Or maybe you're sending this person quick messages and you're hoping they get to them or something like that. I don't know. Something is easier. This is a hopes or fears. I mean, judging from Gemini's reading, I'm thinking maybe it's a fear, but could be a hope. I don't know. It depends which uh, Cancerian we're talking about, too, because there's a lot of you out there, too. So you're all going to take it different ways, right? Uh, the lens you're looking through Ooh. is the Six of Wands. Okay, you think you perfected something. This is the Lord of Victory. This is like G spot energy. This is like perfect rotation on the sugar plum, like. Uh, yeah, you made that. You choked that chicken. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just looking at the chicken's head here, right there. So see how he's kind of choked there. So yeah, you choked that chicken real good. There you go. Six of Wands. What do we got in the uh, environment here? Uh, um, you got a King of Swords. Okay, so you could have a King of Swords. It looks pretty angry. Um, <laughs> Male or female. This is Aquarius energy. So he could be dealing with an Aquarius, the prince of the chariots of the wind. I don't know. He's got all his arms. He looks like he's so angry. He wants to hurt somebody. But he looks so angry that, uh, I don't know, he's, waste, he's wasted all his anger, all his strength on that anger that he can barely even hold his arms up. So he's got these little pixies with pentagrams tattooed on their head holding him up. So... He's only he's driven off of like uh, I don't know. He wants to judge somebody or call down and judge.